I have to be honest with you, I hate notifications on the phone, on the computer, but what I hate even more is missing an important email or finding an important email that was urgent later than you otherwise would have hoped for. So you're pretty much stuck with either having default notifications for all emails that arrive or you get no notifications at all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up custom notifications for Gmail. I'm going to build custom notifications for the browser. Then I'm going to send some SMS reminders for myself if I receive a cool email, because why not? And then we're going to try out creating some Slack notifications as well. Let's dive right into it. So here I have my messy inbox with a bunch of emails and I'm going to be using the workflow automation tool called Bardeen. Uh, there we have it. Let's zoom out a little bit and we're going to create a custom notification. So what we need to do is we need to use an app, Gmail, and then we need to find a trigger. So we're going to trigger this automation when something happens. We have a list of different triggers that are available for Gmail. So let's see what we want to do. So when I receive an email, this is what happens. And then here we can specify the type of emails that are going to trigger our workflow. We have a subject line keyword, we have a sender, we have uh, the recipient copied. We can also use some conditional statements so we can filter different fields that are coming from here. For example, if we want to filter for a keyword in the body, we can do this as well. Um, let's actually do exactly this. So uh, we have this trigger when email is received and I'm going to create a trigger that contains, uh, let's uh, check value from that trigger right there. And then uh, let's check the body of the email. So uh, let's do the body. And we're going to be looking for a keyword that says urgent. Okay, so let's do exactly this. So it's going to contain, we can pick from equals to contains and things of that nature. And then it's going to contain urgent. And then if the body of the email contains urgent, then we're going to show a browser notification. Okay, let's do this. And the notification should say, you got an urgent email. Okay, and then finally, I want to be able to click on that notification so that I can open uh, that, that link. So, uh, Permalink, I think email link, yeah, that's the one. Okay, so when I click on this browser notification, it's going to open up Gmail. Cool, uh, pretty simple automation if you think about it. Let's go ahead and give it a name. We're going to call it an urgent email notification. Save, and then we're going to turn it on and test it out. It's pretty easy to do. So let's send an email to this address. Please don't email me, or you can, I'll have more junk. This is the email address, subject, hey there. And then I'm going to use a bunch of placeholder text and call it urgent, just like this. Cool, there we have it. Let's just send it out and see what happens. I'm going to click on my notification center. And here is our browser notification. You got an urgent email, let's click on it. And boom, just like this, there we have it. Pretty cool automation. But again, I hate notifications and a lot of the times I turn on do not disturb on my phone and it just propagates, it goes to my computer so I do not see notifications as well. So I might want to send that email to my virtual assistant or the person who will be responsible for handling the email with the magical urgent keyword. So what we're going to do is we're going to elevate the automation a little bit more. What we want to do is we want to click on these three dots and open that automation in the builder. Go all the way here and add a new action. We're going to add the Slack action that's going to send a message. Okay, we have different uh, channels. I'm going to send it to general. Let's send it to general and the message is going to contain, so here we have the trigger action, it returns a bunch of data that we want to use in the message itself, and we're going to send everything. Everything that's coming from there, done. And before we save it, so that I remember, I'm going to say plus Slack. It's going to be super, super neat, okay? 
So now we have urgent email notification plus Slack. Okay, now we can hit done. Make sure to enable the automation, otherwise nothing is going to happen, obviously. And let's go ahead and test it out. We're going to compose a new email and the account is for the demo. We're going to have magical, magical subject line. Then let's include our magical keyword, urgent. Okay, and then some placeholder text, just so we have more stuff to look at. And let's go ahead and just send it. So we're going to see a browser notification in a second. Okay, so here we have our browser notification. You've already seen how it works. And what we want to do is we want to just go back to Slack, go to general, and here we have the magical subject line. It looks like that all fields didn't send all the information we want, so that's not a biggie. So let's go back to this action, and instead of all fields, we're going to add some additional information. Important for you to test your automations. Super, super important. So let's use the subject line, and I'm going to use comma to add some more information. Okay, then we're going to use the body, and that email, and I'm going to find from, who is it from? From, okay, it's going to be email from, click on done, click on done again, enable the automation, and let's delete that previous message so it doesn't disturb us. We're going to come here and I'll just copy everything from here. Let's just send it through one more time, exactly the same email. I'm going to delete that notification, open the notification center and boom. So the automation was triggered. We can go to general and here we have the information. This is awesome. This is exactly what I was looking for. And this is exactly how you can create custom notifications for when an email arrives. You can also archive an email, delete an email, forward an email. You can out the reply using different Bourdain commands. So if you are new to Bourdain, if you've never heard about it, or if you just want to automate your notifications for Gmail, it's definitely a cool thing to try out. And the best part is that the automations that I've just shown you, you can just go to the description of this video and find them there. They're already pre-built. You can change the keyword from say urgent to whatever other keyword that you're looking for. You can change that conditional block to filter for the variable that you're looking for. It could be the sender, it could be the subject line, you name it, you know where to find it. And check out this video next on how to automate your meeting workflows. I was surprised to find out how much time I spend on meetings. It's around 15 hours a week. The least I could do is add and sprinkle some automations on top of it so I can save a little bit more time. Until next time, cheers.